Local Sisters Shaping Sisters. That's the motto of a national organization working to help improve the lives of young girls and women and prepare them to live sensible and successful lives. Dr. Lovely A. Thornton is a Rochester native. She's the founder and president of the Sensible Women Initiative, and she's here today to tell us more about SWI and a special event being planned here in Rochester. Thank you, Dr. Thornton, for coming on today. You're welcome. You don't meet women named Lovely every day in the city of Rochester. I know it. Right? <laughs> so there's another woman in the city named Lovely with the same name. Yes. You know, her name is Lovely A. Warren Granison. And she is named after you, and that's our mayor. Absolutely. The mayor often shares stories um, about about you being the first in the family to go to mm -hmm. college, and that you know how it changed the course of generations for um, all the rest of the generations and the family to come. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yes, in 1972, I was granted the opportunity to go to the State University of New York at Brockport. It was a very difficult decision at first because my mother was pretty afraid to allow me to go, but she decided to let me go to college, and because of that, I made a promise to her that I would finish. Mm -hmm. And I did finish in four years. There are things that I was exposed to at Brockport that I wanted my younger brother and sister to know. So from that point on forward, we actually worked together to encourage all of our nieces and nephews to take that path as well. Mm -hmm. And I am very proud to say that every last one of my parents, Cecil McClary Sr. and Margaret Felder McClary, their grandchildren have all, all attended college. Mm -hmm. It's a wonderful story. So leadership runs in the family. Uh, you're the founder of Sensible Women, uh, the Sensible Women Initiative. How did that come about? Well, um, in 1995, just sitting by myself and at that time I had a number of years working, volunteering, trying to instill hope into young people. Mm -hmm. And I thought about my mother's life and how she actually was able to instill that pride and that honor and dignity, you know, in others. Mm -hmm. She assisted so many people. She opened her home up to people, and we, at times, slept four in a bed, making room in our homes in the 60s to assist others to get a start here in Rochester. Mm -hmm. From that example, I was able to pull strength, and my mother and father always used to say, always help those who cannot help themselves. And so therefore, when I evaluate my mother's life, I came up with the thought that she was actually a sensible woman. Mm -hmm. Common sense, she was, she was very uh, powerful and she used common sense to raise her eight children and support my father over 62 years. So I decided to um, establish an organization you know, to, to honor my mother mm -hmm. you know, called the Sensible Women's Initiative because common sense is just not common anymore. And I think that it is important for us to encourage young ladies to embrace the power that God have in place and God has placed in them, mm -hmm. you know, and actually use common sense to help them develop themselves. And every fork of the road, they could decide to actually choose right over wrong and develop from their, for themselves a very strong foundation on which to stand. Mm -hmm. And there's chapters throughout the country, is that right? Yes, we are actually have a chapter um, at Towson University. Uh, we also are creating a chapter at Delaware State University. Um, but the chapter that we are more interested in is the chapter that we want to establish here in the city of Rochester. Mm -hmm. It will call the Alpha Chapter. We want it to, it, it, we want it to consist of women between the ages, or young ladies between 5 to 25. We mm -hmm. want to start very early but we have three different stages. We have the diamonds, which are five years old to 12, and we have um, the violets, which are actually 13 to 17, and we have the butterflies, and they are um, 18 to 25. Mm -hmm. And each chapter will actually address issues pertaining to that particular age group. And we want to just uh, assist those young ladies in developing the inner strength to cope. Now, when they come to the fork of the road, they can choose right over wrong, mm -hmm. realizing that every decision that they make is attached to either, either a stumbling block or a stepping stone. Mm -hmm. 
So what, what sort of services or programs do, uh, does a mentoring take, take place in? Well, as, as we look at um, our young ladies, let's say, let's take um, the chapter at Delaware State University or let's take the chapter at Towson University. These are young ladies that's in college. Mm -hmm. But even when they're in college, they still need that support system sure. and they need that encouragement to actually make good decisions. So we actually work with them throughout the academic, their social, um, their, we advise them in so many different ways and we support them, we mentor them. But not only that, they also mentor the younger mm. children. So we go into the city of Baltimore and into DC and we actually partner, partner them with those children and we provide programs for them to assist them in doing their homework or um, the relationship, also mm -hmm. relationship building, interpersonal skills, another thing that's very, and also relationship with males. Because so often, you know, young ladies make decisions that, that, um, that does not benefit them. Mm -hmm. And we want to show them systematically every step of the way how they can actually make those good decisions and as a result of, the, of, of it they can actually be a role model for others to emulate. Mm -hmm. And you actually start with girls as young as five years old. Why so young? Because I have a, a granddaughter, Mia Love Jada, and she is three. I see now that Mia, um, she is developing tendencies it because of her attitude and her disposition, then she makes decisions mm -hmm. and then she develops tendencies and her tendencies can very easily feed into her reputation. So therefore what I do is that when I see her actually making bad decisions or making a decision that's not suitable to her, I actually stop her and say, Mia, you need to make sure you consider doing it this way. At age five, our children are in school. So now they are exposed to their peers and they're exposed to other mm -hmm. um, decision-making processes. So starting at age five and showing them, you know, the stumbling block or the stepping stone that's attached to their decision, then we are starting them at an early age, not just decision-making, but, but actually um, encouraging them and giving and rewarding them for making the decisions. We want, we want to build scholarship in them even at that age. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you have a, a very big event that you're planning um, here in Rochester. Can you tell us about that and how um, young women will be involved in this? On um, July the 13th, 13 different states will be represented here in Rochester. SWI is a compilation of women from 13 different states who have decided to come together to make a difference. And this is a volunteer, it's a 501c3 mm -hmm. federal tax exempt organization, but it's a volunteer organization. We all are coming together and we have committed ourselves to make it a difference in the lives of these young people. So therefore we're coming to Rochester and we want to provide uh, um, some professional development on Thursday. It will be at the Radisson um, Riverside okay. and we're going to be dealing with uh, reclaiming our stability, our mental stability. It's open to the public Great. and also that's on um, Thursday at 5 o'clock at the Radisson and also on Friday morning we want to um, also take them on a tour to see how rich the city of Rochester mm -hmm. is and on that uh, afternoon at the um, airport, International Hall at the airport, we're going to have a youth conference. And we want to invite all the, the young people in the city of Rochester, first come, first serve. We can probably accommodate about 250 young people okay. that we want to, to be there at the International Hall on the Friday, and that is the 15th. Wonderful. You know, and we're also going to have a scholarship and a fashion show that night at the airport and we're going to reward our young ladies. We want to give incentives. We want them to know that we're behind them mm -hmm. when they make good decisions. And we also want to encourage those, even if they are not where they need to be, but they want to get to where they want to be, need to be, we want to help them. We do not discriminate against, regardless of where a young person is, we want to meet them where they're at mm -hmm. and assist them to get to where they need to be. Wonderful. And how can people find out more information about the events or website? They can actually go to www.sensiblewomen.org. Okay. You know, everything would be on the website. And we're also going to, going to have a banquet on, on, Friday, on, on Saturday. We're going to have a parade. 
um, on Saturday morning and we're going to have a banquet and an inspiration concert Wonderful. also on Saturday. Well, thank you so much. A lot of events planned. Um, again, if you'd like more information about SWI and the upcoming conference you just heard about, sensiblewomen.org is the website. You can also call 302-399-5023. Thanks for watching this edition of CityWise. I'm Tiana Stevens, and we'll see you next week. and opinions expressed by guests appearing on CityWise do not necessarily reflect those of the host, WXXI staff, or any entity of or affiliated with the City of Rochester. If you have questions, comments, or program suggestions, contact CityWise at 311 or 428-1201 or send us an email citywise at cityofrochester.gov.